This is a pretty cool video uh, that is going over some stuff that isn't really seen out there. I couldn't really find a video on this. My uh, late model Johnson 70 horsepower outboard uh, was overheating and doing some weird stuff. And um, come to find out there was a technical bulletin posted by uh, Johnson OMC years ago about moving the telltale to uh, the top of the block. Apparently there's some vapor lock that happens, uh, especially when going at low speeds, that causes uh, an air lock to happen and the, uh, the telltale blows out the bottom of the block where the thermostat is on the top of the block as well as the overheat sensor is at the top of the block. And uh, apparently sometimes uh, air would get, get in there and it would uh, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't. It would act like it was overheating when it really wasn't. So this is a pretty cool thing to do. Um, it wasn't very hard. The uh, the block is aluminum, so I just used uh, the. I didn't use a tap or anything like that. I just let the the little brass piece, the elbow that I put in there, do the tapping, and you'll see a close up of that during the video. But uh, I hope you like the video. I hope it helps you out. And if you if you uh, don't mind, like, subscribe and um, hit the alert button. Thanks and have a great day. Okay, so here's the back of the motor. This is the thermostat cover, easy to get to. This is the temperature sensor, the overheat sensor. It plugs right here. Somebody said, just unplug it. I said, yeah, just like I'd cut the check engine light on my car if it wasn't working. They want you to come in from this point, this outer edge right here, this is the water jacket, the exhaust manifold. So we've got some wires in the way. But this spot right here, the outer corner, that spot there, they want you to come back two inches and mark it. And then from the gasket, from this gasket right here, they want you to come in one and three eighths and drill a hole and put the uh, put the the new T right there and that will allow any air to escape. Currently, this is the location of the telltale, right at the very bottom, where it's pretty cool, whereas up top it's pretty hot. So I'm gonna coat this up. And this will keep shavings from going down inside the exhaust manifold, which the reality is a little bit of stuff down in there shouldn't hurt because uh, it is the exhaust manifold. All right, just looking at my measurements one last time and that looks right. Nice and slow. Here we go. My pilot hole is there. I don't believe I have the hole quite big enough to allow this to tap the threads. So I'm gonna take it up one drill bit size at a time until I can successfully get this down in there. Just squeeze this up good, making sure to get down in the, the valley. Oh, shoot. Okay, disconnect your battery before you do this. to block off my old telltale. And I'll just screw that on down in here.
I'm gonna have to move this camera to get down in here and work. Now that feels like it's gonna bite. Yeah, that's gonna bite. So I'm gonna have to move this camera so that I can get the get to it. So it's going in. I had to go up one more size to a 3 8 inch drill bit. And I'm taking my adjustable pliers, or adjustable wrench, and I'm putting my thumb on top with one hand and with the other hand, slowly turning this. Now once I get these threads started, I'm gonna back this out and go ahead and put this Teflon tape on here to keep it from hopefully leaking. If that doesn't work, uh, it'll be threaded and I'll be able to put some JB weld or high temp JB weld on there. And um, with any luck, we'll be in good shape here shortly. So I went ahead and removed this so I could uh, put some Teflon tape on there and you can see the depth of the hole and how it's cutting its own threads right now. So I'm gonna put some Teflon tape on here, run the hose on it and splash this girl back in the water. Teflon tape, just a couple of passes with it and pulled it really tight. You can see how it's inside the threads already. So it should just go on in. So I only, I didn't go all the way in with it. It is firmly in place. I will probably go one more round. Um, I did take this and go ahead and run that all the way in. I'll put a tie wrap around that. I bought five feet of tube to, uh, to go from here out back to where the original came out, which is right here. So I only needed about, I don't know, 18 inches of it. But I'm going to go ahead and give one more turn. Now, next thing is just put the hose on, put a piece of tie wrap on there, and then run it through down to the port and uh, put it back in the water and see what happens. This hole where the grommet was or this grommet was, uh, it was too tight to push this through with that in the hole. So I took it out of the hole and pushed the hose through, and then I'll just work on pulling that back through. That's enough sticking out. That's probably even more than necessary. And uh, I'll just go to the other end, make sure I cut off enough to get me down to here and up to here and cut it here and put some, put a zip tie on it. Good as new. Let's give it a shot. See how it works. As you can see, it's, he is just beautifully full, full screen. running it for about 20 minutes at 5,000 plus RPM and uh, it hadn't done anything yet, knock wood, it's running good.